Hi guys, so welcome to my first Get Ready With Me video, which I'm so, so excited about. I've been loving these videos lately, so I'm excited to film one. So this is going to be a spring makeup, very fresh, and it has some fun colours as well, but it's very easy to do as well. So obviously right now I'm applying my foundation first. This is the Erin Fresh Skin Compact Makeup, which I can't tell you what I think about yet. It's still in the trial period with me. Um, it's only around my third time using it and right now what I can say is it's a little bit heavy for my liking so I either have to find a way to use it uh, properly or I just don't like this foundation. But it has really nice coverage and it has a nice sort of dewy satiny finish which I quite like actually. It just feels a little heavy on the skin. And I am used my Real Techniques buffing brush of course which I love, love for foundation. Now I'm going in with the Clinique Chubby Eyes, Chubby Stick for the eyes, and this is in Bountiful Beige, so I'm just applying this right from the stick, it's so easy to apply, and I'm zooming in just to show you how pretty that looks on its own, just this and a bit of mascara is a really nice summery look as well. But of course I have to go one step further, so I'm going in with my MAC Pigment in Pink Bronze, which just has the most gorgeous, gorgeous sheen to it. I think a lot of the MAC pigments, the ones that are a bit more shimmery, have this beautiful sheen to them. Now if you don't like pigments, you don't like loose products, I actually pressed mine with a bit of alcohol, but you could also use Expensive Pink by MAC, which is a really, really similar color, uh, a sort of pinky gold, but it doesn't have, it's not loose obviously, so easier to use. Now I'm going in with my MAC Wedge Eyeshadow. This is a sort of muted medium brown. It's a really nice color. You could also use Omega, but I just feel like I needed a little bit of definition in my crease. Even though I want this to be very natural, I just needed that definition to really complete the look. I can never really leave an eye without a bit of definition in the crease. Now I'm going in with my gel eyeliner. This is from Estee Lauder and it's the brown, so it's going to be a little bit softer than what black would be and I'm using my MAC 210 brush. Now the flick. I always have to hold my breath for the flick because it's so nerve-wracking. Like I'm so particular about flicks. But I'm trying to keep this very thin. Obviously in the outer corner it's going to get a little bit thicker and then in the inner corner I'm, I'm keeping it as thin as I can. And then again with the flick, I am winging it out a little bit longer than what I would say is, is natural, but it's very, very thin, so that keeps it being a little bit more natural. If this would just focus, there we go, maybe, yes. Okay, and there is the winged liner done, thank goodness I got this over and done with smoothly. And as I, as I was saying, it is quite a thin wing. There we go. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC lash curlers, which do the job pretty well for me. So I'm just curling my lashes because this will add to that sort of winged flare on the outer corner and it will also just help my mascara look a bit nicer and go on smoother. So I'm using my L'Oreal. This is the Million Lashes Excess Mascara in Black, which Again, I'm sort of trying this out. I don't quite know how I feel about this mascara. I think it's a bit clumpy in a weird way because I actually really like clumpy mascaras, but this one just looks a bit weird. Now, this step I wasn't actually going to do, but I felt like the look kind of needed it. And um, I'm going back in with that pink bronze pigment just on a random angled brush. And I just put a bit on my bottom lash line, all the way around my bottom lash line. And now back in with some mascara, that same L'Oreal Million lashes excess, which you can see it's just looking a little bit clumpy. Um, I don't know if I like it yet, but maybe I will love it. Now this amazing, beautiful, fantastic product. This is the Bobbi Brown Brow Shaper. This one is in rich brown and it just does an incredible job at obviously keeping my brows in place, but filling in my brows, it makes it look more defined, a bit fuller. Love, love, love this product. I'm going to show you a little tiny clip of what they look like, one with and one without this product. There we go. And and you can see what a big difference that does and that's the eyes done really easy now I'm going in with my Mac CC transparent powder this is just a basically a translucent powder this one in particular is a yellow shade so it's neutralized so it's meant to neutralize redness uh, it's pretty much transparent but I'm just applying this all over the face just to keep my blusher and bronzer from 
kind of getting a bit patchy on my skin. Now I'm going with the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Nectar. This is my first time using it and it's such a beautiful, beautiful product. I'm using my angled brush from MAC and this, I'm applying it on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it up to my cheekbones because that will kind of help contour my face and I feel like it's a little bit more of a modern way to apply your blusher. Um, now I'm going in with, of course, my NARS Laguna. Um, I haven't used this product a whole lot. I, I do quite like it though, but I'm going to have to see this summer how I get on with it and I'll let you guys know. So I'm just applying this, kind of contouring, kind of just warming up the skin, just applying it where you would apply your bronzer normally, and I'm really blending that into the blusher as well. Now this lipstick, I'm sorry to use a limited edition lipstick, you can probably still find this on MAC counters, it's Dreaming Dahlia, it's from their spring collection. Um, but basically another similar one is this orange Revlon Just Bitten lip product. It's, it's the orange one. It's a really similar color, but I just couldn't find another lipstick that had this color that I wanted. Now, I wasn't going to do this for the look because obviously the shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown has a lot of shimmer in it, but I feel like it's a spring look. You need shimmer. You need highlighter. Go for it. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. You will not believe how many compliments I get from this product. It is such a beautiful sheen. And that is the whole look. It's so easy, but you can see it's so glowy, so fun. I love the eyes, that eyeshadow, the pigment. Pink bronze just has the most beautiful sheen. The lips with the orangey tone, but it's still quite sheer. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.